Is it? Alright, this is an album review of Big L's A Lifestyle, Poor and Dangerous, his debut LP, released on Columbia Records. The producers on this album are Buck Wild, Showbiz, Lord Finesse, great producer, and um, Craig Boogie. Uh, yeah, this album is full of great producers. Big L, great lyricist, great rhymes, horrorcore rapper, just great overall album. The tracks on this is Put It On, MVP, No Ends, No Skins, Eight Is Enough, All Black, Danger Zone, um, Street Truck, The Graveyard, Lifestyle The Poor, Dangerous, I Don't Understand It, Fed Up With The Bullshit, and Let Them Have It Out. Alright, this album starts off with Put It On, which is a, it starts off strong with Put It On, which is a great song. I love the song, the beat, the beat is good. Then it goes on to MVP, which I think the remix of MVP is way is better than the original beat. And it goes no ends, no skins, where he basically talks about like, like if you don't have money, you don't get girls and all that stuff, gold diggers. Big L, the mas the master punchlines and all that stuff. Love this album, crazy punchlines and all that. Eight is enough. One of one of the two features on this album with, uh, if you guessed it, eight, eight um, rappers, seven features. I forgot who all the features are, but yeah, everyone goes hard on it. Everyone delivers great, great track. That all black love this track. Great song. Uh, every song is good. Danger Zone, great song too. Street Struck, Street Struck, arguably the best song of this album. The Graveyard, the next, the next, um, uh, the next featured song. I couldn't think of it. This is the one with Jay Z on it when he was hungry and he didn't even release a debut album or anything on it. I love when um, Party Arty, he spits out, um, you get splayed like a small fry. You don't want to get thrown off the roof. You don't want to be the fall guy. You mess around, you'll be a dead man. I get hyped tonight, tonight, like red man. Love that verse. And then after that is Lifestyle of the Poor and Dangerous, the self-titled song track off the album. Great song as well. I think this is the one when he spits out, um, um, fuck, what was it? Niggas be breaking my, niggas be breaking my home with the crowbar. Something like that. I can't remember it, but I haven't heard this album in a while. And then I Don't Understand It, great track too. Fed Up With The Bullshit, great track too. Let Them Have It Out, Let Them Have It Out, Let Them Have It Out. Great production from Craig Boogie on this album. I mean, on this song. He was only he only produced this one song. But out of the 12 tracks, every single one is good. I don't know what's the weakest of the link. I will have, I will have to say... um. Huh. There's a lot of great songs. I don't know. I can't choose the weakest. Every song is strong. I I guess No Ends, No Skins, but that song is great. I love that song, I guess. But, great album. Big Al goes hard. Rest in peace, Big Al. Only lived up to produce, to make two full-length albums. But, yeah. Sad to see him go. If I would give this album a waste of time, mixed, would recommend, and a must listen, I give it a must listen. Honestly, if this album wasn't underground, it would be up there with Illmatic in like top three albums. Honestly, in my opinion, I like this album better than Illmatic. Just the horrorcore and everything is a great album. Overall, good. And yeah, must listen. Thank you for, um, I guess this, this is my review and bullshit. Yeah, so I'm out.